All right, what's up, Nest Day fans? I'm Jamie Loves Games. Pronouns are they, them, and I'm here to play some Power of Blade any percent normal for y'all. Thank you for the good lucks. Awesome to see all the friends in chat. Nova was summoned. Alright, give me a minute here to check over all my vitals. I think I'm good. <clears throat> Alright. Just give me one second. Alright, cool. Yeah, the soundtrack is good actually has the same composer as Castlevania 1, so you know you're in for a banging soundtrack. All right, countdown in three, two, one, go. It's weird not hitting my foot pedal. All right. So yeah, we actually kind of just conventionally go around the, uh, the map as intended. So, one through six, and then the final stage. What I really love about Power Blade, the speedrun, is that it's really accessible. So, I definitely put it in that same bucket as, like, Chip and Dale. And that it's pretty easy to pick up. Uh, Old School Rich has a phenomenal tutorial on the SRC page, and I think I went through it in like a morning or two with some coffee, and felt, you know, pretty confident after going through it. And, uh, yeah, you can go through that, pick it up. Well, wow, this jump is kind of scary. Right out of the gate. Hey, oh no, and we're dead. <laughs> like I said, that jump is scary. And we're dead again. And we're dead again. There we go. We're through. First try every time. Anyways. Uh, what was I saying? It's, it's a very accessible speedrun. Of course, that first jump is kind of scary. We'll do that very conservatively. Our kill count is... Well, actually, our kill count should be fine because we didn't uh, defeat any other enemies. We're just a little underpowered, but that's fine. But you can go through the t tutorial and jump into the uh, the run pretty quickly. And it's a really great, like, uh, side project. Oh my god, Blue Boomerang. Yeah, it's a great little side project. I had run it along with Metroid 2. If you're, uh, I didn't want to kill that guy, it's fine. Gonna do that, and eh, leave that guy. Yeah, things are already a little weird, but hey, it's a marathon. I said marathons are for. Die, you pink gorillas. But, uh, yeah, and it's a fun little challenge, I say, if you're, you know, you're playing it to, like, like sub-18. But then after sub-18, the run gets really challenging. I'm currently at a 1721. I haven't PB'd in, like, a month. So trying to get into that, uh, 17 1X territory is super tough. So yeah, great introductory speed ride, great side project. But if you're looking for something to also like dig into, it's very optimized at the top level. All right, this is the windmill stage. I live in Chicago land, and sometimes we go up and down I-65 in Indiana, and there's uh, these big tall windmills there. So the stage always reminds me of that. All right, let's see if we can get back on track here. Ooh, there's the red boomerang. That's better. Kind of weird doing this room with the. Oh, I need to kill two guys. So you may hear me talk about uh, kill count in this run, which is really important because there's a uh, an exploit for a lot of the end stage bosses. So as you enter the boss room, their health fills up, 
And if you trigger a grenade just as you're about to go into that room, you can snipe their health gauge as it fills up. So those deaths that I took back there, I mean, that would have been a reset in PB attempts. You know, I, I have it kind of mapped out, like, which enemies to kill, which enemies to leave, where the grenades are going to drop, where the health refills might drop. Okay, actually, I think we might be okay. Yeah, I think we're okay on the uh, kill count. Alright, the crushers. So one of the big differences, there is a normal mode and an expert mode in this game. And a normal mode, none of the enemies uh, do knockbacks. But on expert mode, a lot of the enemies do do knockbacks. Uh-oh. Grenade? Okay, we were one enemy behind. That's fine. That little false wall back there, that's just... That's not like a skip or anything. This is part of the run. Yeah, <laughs> burgers are the... Oh my god, I often think about, like, Nova must smell terrible. Like, just, like, sweat from running, his arms are up in the air, pumping, eating burgers, like... How big is the grenade quick kill window? It's pretty big. When I first started playing the game, I felt like I was actually triggering them a tad early. But that may have just been, you know, me being a beginner and not quite understanding how they work. I actually think we're uh, kind of back on track here. A lot more pits to jump into. Wily, I got... Oh, hey, Ignoble! That's right, they do. Comfy jog pace. What I love about this level is I know this is supposed to be, like, some kind of, like, biodome. I mean, it is some kind of biodome, but to me, it looks like all those green plants are just dancing along. I take this hamburger. Because why not? Uh, there's a lot of uh, canceling in this run. Come on, thank you. So as Nova falls, he'll do kind of like a crouching animation. And if you throw a boomerang pretty much just before you, you land, you can cancel that. I take it conservatively on those uh, ladder drops. Ooh, made it through the waterway there, okay. Cool. And now the RNBs. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that left one opened very fast. So with the bees, the uh, the honeycombs open the same way to start, right, bottom, left, and top. So you want to take advantage of that and kill as many combs as you can. At a minimum, I try to get the top one. If you can get the top and bottom one, that's awesome. But then the other two, it's really just all RNG-based. My PB has a really good bee fight in it. So I'm constantly losing time there. Okay, now you're starting to see us block clip. Those are, as far as I understand, pixel perfect. So if you're at the right angle, you can kind of pass through the block, and then you turn back at the right time, and then you'll, you know, stick into it, and you can keep moving. The block clipping. Uh, if you're a beginner or even an intermediate player, there's really only one clip you have to do. It's in the next stage, which I'll show to you shortly. We're gonna take the safe route here. We've already fallen in enough damn pits already.
But the block clipping definitely takes some practice. And once you figure it out, it takes some maintenance as well. Come on, there we go. This game will definitely help you with your uh, soft A presses. You want to try to do the lightest jumps you can through there. Oh, I wanted that hamburger. Hold on. Yeah, the clips are going. Nice. Let's go. Ah, uh, the Chef Boyardee Bridge. Uh, we are one. Yeah, we are one kill behind. That's okay. <clears throat> now, when you're doing PB attempts, uh, once you get the suit, you want to keep it until the end of the run. And you'll see kind of in the upper right-hand corner there, there's like this like football helmet. Well, there's uh, three uh, energy blocks below that. Once you get hit three times, that's it. You lose the suit. So uh, there's one kind of mandatory hit back there that it took in that turret. It's too slow to manipulate it. Uh, if you're lucky, you get out of four with your second hit. You really want to keep that thing all the way to the end of the game because the last boss can have some pretty crappy uh, RNG. It's also extremely hard to get out of that damn stage with that extra hit. I almost always lose it. Once you get past Sector 4, I think Sector 4 is the hardest stage in the run. It's absolutely brutal to do after you get good Vs because your hands are shaky and you know, so many things, pits you can jump into. And... Okay, I think this is going to be the grenade? Yeah. Like I said, we are one kill behind. Now we might be two. <laughs> Let's see here. No, we're good. Cool. Well, uh, come on. Alright, cool. Alright, this is the clip that you have to do, even as a beginner. Alright, first try, let's go. My current PB actually has a gigantic time save in Sector 5 uh, because I fumbled around with that clip forever to get it. So if I can get it in a PB attempt, it's actually almost a 4 second time save. Thanks, y'all. This is turning to be a, uh, a classic exhibition run, right? Like some embarrassing things and some swag things. So it's just the way these things go. Yeah, so speaking of like a smelly Nova, not only does he smell like sweat and hamburgers, now we're down in the damn sewer. I do that a little safely. This is the Patty Mayonnaise Secret Agent. Shout out to SSR. Embarrassed <laughs> Swag. Yes, I like that. Uh, that's awesome, Dave. I'm gonna start using that. Now, since we missed that grenade in Sector 4, uh, we'll take a hit here. And we're gonna pick up the backup suit anyway, since this is an exhibition. I think I meant to kill that guy. Yeah, I did. I hardly ever do that anymore. Not quite sure where we're at. I think I goofed that up. Oops. That's <laughs> okay. So here's the backup suit. Uh, beginner runners, I usually advise you grab that anyways. This is the other really difficult clip. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, 
we are pretty far behind on our kill count, I think. Because <laughs> we definitely we need a grenade for the end of the level. Do that safely. Maybe here? No. Here? There we go. Come on, get out of the way, you little bullet. So I am, um, I've spent a lot of time with NES Metroid, was primarily a Hundo runner, and I also run Metroid 2 Hundo. And I think what really draws me to this speedrun is outside of maybe like the clips and like I said sector four can be a pain sometimes it's not really a hard run individually like there's nothing in this run that's as hard as Torian and from NES Metroid but putting it all together cleanly smoothly all the micro optimizations is way hard and that and it's kind of like how Hundo is um you know, like in NES Metroid, there's some spikes in difficulty, like Torian, Metroid 2, a lot of those gamma fights are very tricky. But there isn't anything in those runs that's like, you know, brain-bustingly difficult. It's more about being smooth and movement optimization. I think that's why I like this run. It's kind of hundo in spirit, if that makes sense. I'm not very much of, uh, like, some runners are very talented at, like, resetting. They can reset all night. Like, if I reset too much, it burns me out. So I like to finish a lot of runs. And you can definitely do that with this game. Okay, so we're on to the last stage already. That was an unskippable cutscene back there. So I think, like, the, narr the narrative of this game is that, like, an evil virus took over, like, the world's computer. And, uh, <clears throat> that's what we're kind of battling. Whoops. Uh, stupid toad. Get our second grenade now. We didn't. That's okay. Yeah, optimally, usually you have two grenades at this point, so that way you can use them on these guys. We'll kind of just do that thing. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, even when I was like an 18x runner. I would watch the top runs, and I didn't really like. I'm, I'm, oops! Oh, gosh dang it! <laughs> you troll. On the surface, didn't really seem that much different than what I was doing. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Talking too much. Ah! Uh, but well now you just get to see more power blade. Um. That was unfortunate. Sorry about that. Oh, what I was saying is, let me get this blue bone ring. Come on, turret. There is another suit over here. What the heck was I saying? Uh, yeah, uh, the top runs didn't really seem that different from what I was doing. But again, it's just like all that little movement optimization. That little uh, block that I died on, that's really easy to do. Says me to make myself feel better. Just gonna do this safely. Do, do, do. But I have plenty of runs that look like this when I'm doing PB attempts that are just sort of turned into this like slog. I think it's important to finish those runs. Oh my gosh, up the ladder! End of the pit again! Oh my god, now we're really screwed. 
Oh, I'm really sorry, y'all. This, this is going off the rails. Uh, is there another power suit anywhere? In seven? I don't know if there is. Oh, there's a game over, wasn't it? So this will be bad. Okay. No, that wasn't a game over. Was it? No. Okay, we're gonna take a game over. We're gonna get another suit. We're gonna beat this game. I'm sorry. Now I'm putting the whole event behind schedule. Dave will never invite me back. I think we can take a game over and then there will be another suit. Alright. I have a beer here. I'm gonna take a sip of this beer. Okay, that was good. Let's try this again. Getting hit by everything. Sweet. Do, do, do. Okay, now we've got the suit. <laughs> Usually you throw a little blade right there, but I don't have the uh, correct power up. Give me that. Do we have our E tank still? Okay, cool. Behind, <laughs> they're just making content. <laughs> I also really love, like, the colors in this game. I just think they look really great. Uh, I think that this is actually a ladder. I'm not even gonna do this ladder drop here. We're just gonna climb on down, nice and safely. Yeah, I think this is a later NES title. It look, looks really great. Alright, can we make this jump? We got it. Alright, we made it! Let's go! Alright, I'm pretty confident we can beat this game now. We've got it. Let's go. I like doing this little float here. Yeah, if you make it to this guy, he's pretty free. So you just kind of stand, like, under the little those weird arms, whatever those are. And he won't hit you. Alright, now we can do our little dance. Do, 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 do. And we get some good... Ugh. So here's the RNG I was talking about. Hopefully you can kind of like avoid those fireballs, but sometimes... See, that was good. So if that was a PB attempt, I'd be really happy. So it's the end is coming and... Time. All right, 2206, it's not a PB. <laughs> but that was fun. So there you go, y'all. That is Power Blade, any percent normal. That was fun. Went off the rails a little bit, but we adapted. Super fun, super fun game, super fun run. Encourage y'all to check it out. I think it would be a really fun game to race. Hint, hint, Ahmad and anybody else who's played this game, and you want to get some new players. Uh, yeah, I think it'd be a really fun uh, race game, kind of like how Chip and Dale is. But yeah, that's it for me. Thanks so much, y'all. Thank you for having me out, Dave. And enjoy the rest of the event. Take care, y'all. Thank you so much for the GGs.